and welcome to Synergy. This is a workout I do in classes locally where I combine Pilates and yoga moves that just flow together. So I'm just going to give you a little taster of these moves in this short video. So please take them into account, there's no uh, warm up or cool down included. Uh, and also if you do have any injuries, conditions or illnesses that affect your exercising, please um, obviously take that into account as we go through. So when you're ready, I'll just turn the music up a little bit here. I'd like you to be on your back. So in this position, heels really close to your bum and feet just a little way apart. And check your hip bones are level, that you're in a neutral position with a bit of a hollow underneath the back, lots of length through the neck. Arms are by your sides with the hands facing upwards. We're going to go into spine bridge. So think of one bone at a time as you lift and lower. Hip bones stay level. Really zip up and connect your core muscles here. Think of the sitting bones coming together. Pubic bone, tailbone together as you lift. Lengthen through the arms, shoulders away from the ears. A little bit more of a challenge would be to have the arms up, but don't let the backs of the shoulders lift. I'm going to take it a little bit further next time. If you're more flexible, take the arms over. Physically move them away from you. And resist on the way back down. So you get this lovely stretch through the arms, through the underarm, through the waist. Up, two, three, four, take it down. And again, lift it up. Can we do one more? And now I'm going to show you a yoga back bend. This is a lot more dynamic. Do take that with your back. We go up into the bridge, clasp the hands underneath you, and wriggle right on top of your shoulders here. Palms together. So take care with your back. As you now step the feet out a little bit further if you can. And bring them back. Then try clasping the hands the other way with the other thumb on the top. And bring it back. Release the hands, wriggle off the shoulders. If you had enough, just take yourself into a bit of a crunch. Now for those of you wanting to go into a full bridge, I take my feet a little bit wider for this. Hands close to your face or your ears. Some people find it easier further away. Usually easier to lift the hips, come onto the head into your full bridge. So whichever version you prefer, first, second or third, let's just do a few more. Okay. Lift it for four, three, two, take it down. This time hold it at the top. Hold it here if you can. Keep holding. For eight. Four, three, two, bring it down. Hand stretch. Have those knees in you stay there. I'll just turn the music down a little bit. 
So thank you so much for joining me on this mini video. If you liked it, please tick below, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. And I'm going to have to stop because the cat's wanting to come in.